Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Deck and Around Reviewed. Today we're taking a look at Pressure Force from Danny De Ortiz. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring the bell. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to be an ASMR video, Steve. <laughs> So, well, uh, as, as you know, I can't be that quiet. <laughs> yeah. So I have to say, you know, we're really excited to take a look at Pressure Force. I think one of the cool things about this uh, new technique from Danny De Ortiz is it's a force we haven't seen in the past, and it really brings card forces to a whole new level in a way that's easily understandable. Like, I consider myself pretty much a pretty basic magician on a good day and sitting down to learn this trick i thought it was not only really interesting but it was easy like this yeah. could be your first day wanting to get into magic and this trick is a phenomenal way to learn how to force a card yeah i think i think the the cool thing that i found about this is i mean obviously danny is a a legend uh everything he comes up with is like brilliant and uh you know some of them not so easy but this this uh force is is so cool because and especially the name pressure force yeah um you know it, it really it's it's based on table work you know you don't have to do it uh, at the table but that definitely is uh you know it's i think key element yeah you know what i mean yeah close proximity um, without getting too much into it but i i think the whole um the whole pressure force side of it is really is really cool and uh it kind of doesn't take much to learn it i think it's just practice with um learning the concept yeah you know, i feel i feel like we're pen and teller and we're trying to tell something without saying something <laughs> so no and i think you know the way to look at it is really a force is always like a, a an understanding of like your audience's psychology and you know yeah. how people react to certain um events or words or things like that and this really just takes it to a whole new level that I think a lot of people don't actually consider. And that's one of the cool things about forces is it takes magic to that whole kind of mental understanding level. You need to be able to understand your audience and what they're going to do ahead of time in order to force them, you know, force their hand into something here. And yep. the really cool thing about this is, you know, like we said, it's a really easy to learn uh, trick while there are some restrictions on obviously how you would have to go about doing you know like steve mentioned it's more oriented towards table work i think the the concepts behind it are something that you could take and apply to street magic to anything really as long as you yeah. you understand the underlying concept because ultimately that's what it really comes down to with a lot of this stuff is again getting that understanding of the psychology of your audience and how to use that to your benefit to force a choice yeah yeah, it's really it's really fun watching Danny like teach anything. Oh he's my god! Yeah. So an he's so animated. He's so funny, and um, it, it, he makes it look so simple without a know? doubt. And, yeah, and just practicing it, um, it's just I mean, it is it's so simple. So it's I definitely think a, it's a beginner's trick to you know whatever level you want to take it and use it. Yeah. You know? And I think that's one of the interesting things about it is it's a great foundational tool as a beginner, but it's something that at an expert level you can take and make your own. You know, this isn't necessarily something that if you've been doing magic for 20 years, you don't want to pick up either because it's it's a concept that you really can bring into your repertoire and use to improve your already, you know, vast skill set. And I think that's one yeah. of the cool things about it, you know, just watching the uh, the trailer, you can see the the awe in the spectator's okay. eyes when he's going through how to do it and even after the fact seeing him explain how he does it there's still this element of awe and i think that's how you really know that this is a a well-designed force and a well-designed trick because even once you know how it works you're still blown away yeah, yeah. no I, I agree i agree fully uh, and then the cool the cool thing is um it's I can't say it enough. It's just so easy. Yeah. I, it's, it's, yeah. it's really easy. As long as you have a deck of cards and the desire to learn it, sitting down, you could figure this out pretty quickly. And honestly, to get it to the point where you're ready to use this on whoever your test audience is, an hour, maybe. I mean, from start to yeah. finish. And obviously, that's with a rough performance there. But it's not 
a huge investment of time to get this to a point where you could figure it out and use it. There's going to be a lot of tweaks along the way, but I think, you know, from first learning to first implementation is a very short time frame, and that's really how easy this trick is. All you need is a deck of cards and the willingness to figure it out. And I know, you know, I'm not sure how many times you watched the video, Steve, but myself, I watched it once and I feel like I understand the underlying concept of it. If I were to go watch it again, it would just reinforce that and maybe I'd pick up a couple things I missed the first time but that's how easy the trick is is you could watch it once and you're like oh that makes a lot of sense yeah, yeah. I, I think it's just a confidence booster as well like me personally uh you know obviously i'm not the greatest magician at all but um i, I wouldn't feel i really don't feel comfortable doing the classic thing. and this is a as a force that i could easily become comfortable and confident in doing absolutely i think this is yeah. uh you know, a great trick for anyone from that beginner level all the way up to a, someone who's a, you know, everyday performer of magic, who's a professional magician. I think it's great in your repertoire, no matter where you are. Yeah. yeah. Great. So thanks so yeah. much to Murphy's Magic for providing this download for us to check out and give an honest review. We really do appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for future Decking Around reviewed episodes. Thanks so much. Yeah. Peace.